Ryback versus The Undertaker. Who wins in this epic match? Oh man, what's up guys? Welcome back to Review Space. Well, depending on the match type and depending on the situation, I assume that if you're asking about WrestleMania, chances are Undertaker, hands down. I mean, he would defeat Ryback. Even if Ryback was built up so much, and wow, this guy's such a destroyer, wow, Goldberg 2.0, and wow, this guy's such a powerhouse, Undertaker would take that match because his streak is a lot more powerful than pretty much any championship, any type of prestigious title. That is the draw. That is the legend of Undertaker, is the streak. And I don't think Ryback can even defeat Undertaker. Now it would be a special moment and I think maybe some people would think that wow Ryback might have a chance because if they really want to put over somebody new or somebody fresh why not Ryback right? Why not you know Ryback? Why not somebody who's up and coming and somebody who can make a name out of that? And it sort of makes sense. It's like here you have this upstart Ryback this guy who's just basically establishing himself as the as this monster type this beast I mean you have guys that have been suggesting this kind of situation where oh let's have maybe a younger guy uh, go over at Wrestlemania a uh, beating taker you know I mean somebody who can really make a name out of that and just brag about it for years and years to come the problem is it just doesn't seem possible at this point this long would Undertaker be willing to put somebody over? Would Vince McMahon allow him to do that? Because, again, it's that special streak that makes it so spe uh, so. It's such a draw, you know. It's such a money-making thing. People pay to see that. It's a special attraction. It's a special um, match where you get to see somebody test Taker and try to best him and take his glory and. There's so much meaning behind it compared to like even the WWE Championship. The way they've built it up over the years. Uh, beating Taker at Mania, man, that's probably the ultimate thing. The ultimate climax of your career. The ultimate goal. And it seems like I don't think anybody can take it. Now as far as on a regular match or maybe just a regular pay-per-view, let's say Hell in a Cell or something like that or SummerSlam yeah it's possible that Ryback has the edge I mean Undertaker's put over guys before you know there's been guys who actually defeated him and made to look stronger you know guys like Kane look like a complete beast when he fought uh, Undertaker I mean I remember early on when uh, Kane debuted as that character and he just totally decimated and pestered and bullied and destroyed Undertaker for months and just completely plagued Undertaker he was on his case and he was always attacking him and Taker always looked like the weaker character like he always looked uh, Kane looked the more dominant one rather you know it was just the way they put over Kane was so effective I thought nobody could stop Kane he was just an unstoppable big red machine and then obviously they had that match at Wrestlemania which it, it took him like three tombstones to put away Kane so that was just uh, it, it was a testament to how strong they built up that Kane character back then and there's been other t uh, guys like guys like Batista that fought uh, against Undertaker there's been guys who I mean, I mean, even matches like uh, guys against Festus. I don't know if you guys remember that match where Festus was going to go away for a while. They were going to shelf that character. and But he took on Undertaker and he actually looked the more dominant of the two. Like he got in a pretty good offense. Taker ended up still winning the match. But Festus, for all he's worth and for his goofiness of his character and the, you know, the, the face where he sort of got that lopsided mouth. I mean, as weird as that character was, he still looked relatively dominant against Undertaker of all people. So I think the idea of Ryback, this built-up powerhouse, being able to defeat Undertaker, it's possible, it's very possible that he would actually go over and be the more menacing younger star. 
and it seems to make sense. I mean, I can I can see that happening if Taker's willing to do it, given his age and the fact that he doesn't wrestle too much. He doesn't really have a schedule. He just has these special attraction matches now. But uh, Ryback can really make a big name for himself if they were to go that route. I mean, it, it's kind of a cool idea. I could sit here and give you like, I mean, a comparison between the finishing moves and, and the gimmick and the entrance. They're very different. Uh, I mean, I think Undertaker, he's a taller guy. He's a bigger um, a monster type. The Phenom, and it's a completely different gimmick and wearing the, uh, you know, the blazer jacket. And he's got the, the hat or the hoodie and he's got the eyes rolling back and he's got this gothic of you, you know music and he's got the, the fog and everything and everything is just so mysterious and spectral and uh, this kind of underworld uh, dark side way about him almost like a mystical thing and then you have Ryback who's just pure power and uh, feed me more and everything is just uh, again like a very similar Goldberg machine type of thing where he's just destroying his opponents I would imagine it'd be something closer to the Batista feud, was like Batista against Taker, and then you you kind of have these two slower guys, especially Batista with his limited mobility, but still kind of have a story behind it, and everything is just kind of methodical, and the way it's set up, it's very WWE kind of soap opera-ish in feel, and everything is just meant to be very kind of, what is the word, it's showy, you know, very showy, dramatic. So overall, I would say that Ryback has a chance to beat Taker at a SummerSlam or something like that, a lesser pay-per-view, but not at WrestleMania. Alright, so that's it for this comparison video, but I mean, let me know who you guys think could win this match. I mean, at this point, it just seems like Taker is just unbeatable, unstoppable, especially against his Triple H and HBK matches. But again, WrestleMania, that's a different story anyway. That's Taker's yard. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time, ciao.